Hi everyone and Assalamu alaikum. I hope that you all are well and healthy wherever you are and may Allah keep you well and healthy wherever you are. Before we start today's vlog, may I ask all my YouTube viewers, my YouTube subscribers, my friends out there, whoever's watching my channel, that please subscribe to my channel. If you like my videos, then please give me a thumbs up. So what's cooking in my kitchen today? We are actually cooking creamy chicken tikka pasta. It's a bit different, but it's definitely delicious. It's easy and let's get started. So the ingredients we need, I have pasta sauce down here, which is homemade pasta sauce, tomato and basil pasta sauce. I also have homemade um, fajita sauce down here, which I'm gonna use. Um, for the spices, we have half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper powder. We have four tablespoons of double cream, full fat double cream. We also have some scallions down there, three scallions, finely chopped. Um, so one teaspoon of garlic and we have two whole jalapenos finely chopped. Now for the roux we need some plain flour, we need some milk, I have some um, pasta water down here left and we also have butter which we're going to make roux out of. Then I've got one kg of pasta and I have my chicken tikka down here ready. So now go and see how I made a chicken tikka. So I have got 100 grams of chicken here. In 100 grams of chicken, I'm going to add one bowl juicer of lemon. I'm going to add half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon red chili powder, one teaspoon paprika powder, and one teaspoon fresh freshly grounded black pepper. So I'm going to mix it together and I'm going to put this in the fridge to marinate for half an hour and then I'm going to get it out, put it in an oven dish and put it in the oven and uh, on 180 degrees for a good 20 to 25 minutes. Yeah, I have a wok and I'm actually, I've actually added three tablespoons of olive oil here. Now at this stage, I'm going to add in the spring onions. And half of the green chili that we've actually cut. Half we're going to save for that garnishing. When this gets a little bit of color, then we're going to add in the chili, um, Sorry, the sauces and the spices and then the chicken. In the meantime, at the back top, I'm gonna put a pan. I'm gonna put a pan on and tablespoons of butter in there once the butter melts we're going to add in the flour in there to make our roux so we'll let the butter melt Now 
Now that the butter is fully melted, I'm going to add one and a half tablespoon of flour in here and quickly I'm going to mix it so there's no lumps. You have to be quick down here to make sure that the flour does not sit at the bottom and become lumpy. Now once that is done, I'm going to slowly by slowly add in the milk. But before I do that, I'm going to spice the roux up with a quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder and quarter teaspoon of salt. So now that I've done that, let's put our milk in. So this much sauce is enough for me. There's one thing that I'm going to add that I forgot to mention. It's grated mozzarella cheese. I'm going to add mozzarella. You can add any cheese you want to. It's totally up to you. So now I'm going to let that simmer. And in the meantime, in here, I'm going to add eight tablespoons of fajita sauce. This sauce is really good. Like I mentioned in my previous recipes, that if you make this sauce, um, just get a sterilized glass jar and save it in your fridge and you can use it for many things. I used it for marination a few days ago and today I'm using it for pasta. There's still some left over, which I can use for fajitas or anything. At this stage, I'm gonna add in the spices. Half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of red chili, um, sorry, black pepper. Half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Because we already added spices in our marination, this much is enough. At this stage, because if you can see, my roux is thickening up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of more milk. So milk should be added gradually. So you know, sorry, so you know what thickness level you want for your roux. So at this stage, I'm gonna add in the pasta, so pasta sauce, which is tomato and basil. Stir it well. And now, I'm gonna add in the cream. which is about three tablespoons of cream. At this stage, I'm gonna taste the spices. <clears throat> it's absolutely delicious. It's tangy. It's creamy and you can you get the hint of black pepper at the back of your throat. There's one thing lacking which is salt. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt again. So now I'm gonna add in the chicken. mix it well so at this stage I'm gonna preheat my oven at 200 degrees Celsius my room is being cooked down there my chicken is done and now 
I'm gonna gradually add in pasta. This is one kg of boiled pasta. You can use any pasta you want to. It's a very quick, easy and simple recipe and it's definitely delicious. Please do try it and you will find out for yourself that how yummy and delicious it is. So now make sure that the pasta is coated with all the sauce. If you like your pasta more saucy, then you can add the fajita sauce more in. Or if you don't have the fajita sauce, then you can add in more pasta sauce. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the fajita sauce. So I'm going to add in one, two, three, four. So 12 tablespoons of fajita sauce all together we added in. And one teaspoon of salt we added in. I will link down the ingredients um, down below. So don't worry. You won't miss anything. So I'm gonna let this simmer at the back. And down here, my roux is ready. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna add in some cheese in the roux. Down here. I'm gonna turn the gas off because my roux is already hot and I'm gonna mix the cheese in. And as you can see, we have a cheesy, creamy roux ready. So now I'm gonna layer my pasta dish. So down here, I have a ceramic oven dish. So what I'm gonna do, with the help of a ladle, I'm gonna lay the pasta at the bottom. So I'm gonna do two layers of this pasta. So this is one layer and now I'm going to add in sorry the cheesy thick roux cheesy. Spread it around evenly. Once that is done, get some green chilies. Green chilies are optional. And then the rest of the pasta. Now if you guys really are cheese lovers, what you guys can do that after you put in the roux, you can actually add in more cheese. But that's for only and only cheese lovers. At this stage, I'm gonna add in the rest of the roux. Spread it around evenly. Add in the rest of the green chilies. And now at this stage, I'm gonna cover it with some cheese. Now, if you don't wanna cook this straight away, you don't have to, you can put it in the fridge or you can freeze it. But if you wanna cook it, then in a 180 degree oven for until the cheese is not just golden because everything else is cooked. So until our cheese is golden, just put it in the oven and cook it. And there we are, quick, easy, simple, yummy chicken 
fajita pasta. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's going to go in the oven 180 until it's um, golden brown. So hardly 10 minutes and we're done. So this is the final look of my creamy chicken tikka pasta. I hope that you liked my recipe and uh, if you did like my recipe then please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel until the, my next recipe take care bye